it yourself. What happened? Welcome to 24 Theory. Before the starting the video, make sure to smash that subscribe button to support me. Well without waiting, let's get into the video. The Thaumaturge is an experience in the style of role-playing games that evokes the feeling and atmosphere of games like Disco Elysium. It was late 2019 when the game Disco Elysium was released and quickly captured the hearts of role-playing game fans. Disco Elysium had a special focus on storytelling, interacting with other characters, and reading lengthy texts. Even its role-playing and character development aspects were quite different from conventional RPG genre works. Now, the Full Theory Studio has developed the game The Thama Church, and in collaboration with 11-Bit Studios, they have released it today, aiming to have its own unique atmosphere while bearing similarities to Disco Elysium. The events of The Thama Church begin in a village in 1905. The name of the game is derived from a Greek word meaning miracle. Thaumaturges in the game world are individuals who possess the power to control terrifying creatures called saluters and can hunt and tame them. Viktor Zolski, the main character of the game, is a thaumaturge whose story starts in a village where he is searching for the famous Grigory Rasputin. Rasputin is a real and very mysterious figure in the heart of Russian history, regarded by some as a saint and by others as a person with demonic qualities. While the game ventures into the realm of this real figure, its story is not a precise historical account and the creators have presented their own interpretation of Russia in the 20th century under the rule of Tsarism. Victor, who has recently been struggling with his powers, somewhat finds himself in better conditions after meeting Rasputin, and thereafter receives a letter regarding his father's death in Warsaw. This is where Victor's and Rasputin's journey to the city of Warsaw begins, and the events of the game unfold from there. The Thama Church, while containing other elements within its gameplay, is primarily a story-driven game, and from the beginning, you must clarify your role within its style. If you approach this work expecting a combat-heavy role-playing game you will surely be disappointed very soon. However if you have the patience for reading texts, listening to dialogues, and making decisions based on them, the Thama Church will provide you with a good time. Thanks to his supernatural ability, Victor can perceive the world around him differently, and upon entering Warsaw, the first thing he encounters is the case of his father's murder, who like Victor was a thaumaturge and also has a mysterious death. From here, you must find clues by embarking on various missions in the game, patiently reading them, and ultimately coming to conclusions about them, through other activities such as talking to other characters. However this process in the game is much simpler than in purely adventurous, detective or even narrative works like Disco Elysium. As mentioned, the Thama Church is primarily a story-driven game and aims to present its story to the audience with all the details. In line with delivering a valuable narrative, the game has utilized various elements, with character development being one of its prominent features. In the Thama Church, even the city of Warsaw itself has a unique identity, and both the city and the game's characters seem to emerge from the heart of novels like Dostovsky, with a touch of the supernatural added to them. Let's start with Victor, who quickly transforms from a mysterious character with a somewhat unpleasant demeanor at the beginning of the game into a complex character with various intricacies. The noteworthy aspect of the game here is that you, as the player, determine Victor's identity through decision-making and dialogues. The powers of Thalma Churches are based on their personal weaknesses, and Victor's weakness is pride. Now, it's up to you to give answers derived from pride in conversations, which may cause distress to others but simultaneously strengthen this aspect of his identity. This action itself has its advantages or disadvantages. In addition to Victor, who remains memorable in the audience's mind as a complex character at the end of the game, shaped by the player's own journey. The other characters in the game, from Rasputin to Victor's sister and other characters, each have their own unique characteristics. The creators have truly done a great job in creating the human qualities of the game's characters and depicting their behavioral complexities. The overall narrative of the Thama Church is primarily based on reading lengthy texts, sometimes scattered around the city of Warsaw, as well as talking to characters. As long as you have the patience to fully follow them, an enjoyable story awaits you, which becomes mysterious at times, peaks dramatically at times, and surprises you with unforeseen events. However alongside these, some aspects may seem overly complicated and even redundant, without adding anything substantial to the overall experience but merely serving as a means to lengthen the game. In terms of the overall gameplay flow, the Thaumaturge is slightly different from Disco Elysium, with the main difference being the more pronounced role of combat and fighting in the Thama Church. Although much of the game involves exploring environments to find clues and connecting them to achieve results that allow you to have complete options in conversations and use them to achieve your goals, occasionally you will also encounter enemies during this exploration. 
These enemies can be Tsarist soldiers or local people who are hostile towards you based on the story events. The game's combat system is turn-based, and saluters play a significant role in it. The game's mystery aspect, while not overly complex, nurtures the player's desire to explore environments and find clues well, especially achieving various events' conclusions, giving a satisfying sense of success. In battles, Victor and his accompanying characters who you can activate one of at a time, have the ability to strike different blows to enemies the execution time of which varies depending on their strength and performance. On the other hand, enemies also have similar conditions and can inflict various blows on you, most of which are damage type, while some have effects like disrupting concentration. The presence of different saluters and enemies with weaknesses against specific types of them has added a relatively good appeal to the game's battles. However, after the initial hours, battles gradually become somewhat repetitive, and you may feel like you're constantly repeating the same scenario. The role-playing aspects of the Thaumaturge are divided into four branches, each encompassing several different skills. The aim of this discussion is not to compare the game with Disco Elysium, but due to the undeniable similarities between these two works, we can also juxtapose them in this regard. Personally, I believe that the character upgrade system in Disco Elysium was one of the most unique examples of this component among recent games and could truly influence character development and transformation. However in the Thama Church, everything is straightforward and linear. In the game, you sometimes encounter items or obstacles that require reaching a specific level in one of your four branches, and upgrading skills gives new combat moves to Victor or increases his combat abilities. Except for these elements, which are almost seen in all role-playing games, the game failed to add any other special complexity to the character upgrade system. And this simplicity, for a work that seeks to focus on character transformation and customization based on the player's taste, is slightly below expectations. Usually, in story-driven games, atmosphere is an element that can greatly aid in enhancing the impact of the story and narrative. Well, the Thaumaturge has good things to say in this regard. It was mentioned that the creators were even able to give Warsaw itself a unique identity, and the corners of this city. And the people who live their daily lives in it are designed in a way that greatly contributes to conveying the overall sense of the story. While the graphics of the game are a bit heavy, and sometimes the loading of textures takes a bit longer, visually it is truly beautiful, especially the environmental design. Thanks to the lighting effects and evoking the atmosphere of the 20th century, have a good beauty and overall you can be satisfied with the visual quality of the game. The music also plays its role well, and if you are a little curious, by exploring the environments, you can find gramophones playing nostalgic classical music. In summary, although the Thaumaturge may not reach the level of games like Disco Elysium and has some weaknesses, especially in its combat system, it offers a truly valuable experience in terms of storytelling. The game evokes a feeling reminiscent of the great Russian novels, thanks to its excellent character development and the creation of an atmosphere that significantly enhances the impact of its narrative events. Overall, it presents a story full of details, mystery, and complexity. If you enjoy story-driven games, the Thaumaturge will certainly not disappoint you. And that's it. I hope this video was useful for you. If you enjoyed this video, then leave a like and subscribe to the channel to support me. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts. As always, until next time, take it easy.